Ariana Grande admits to plastic surgery, Selena Gomez shades Chris Brown and Drew Barrymore fired, I'm Melanie the host of your video today and wow we have officially made it to Thursday and I'm here to catch you up on all the current celebrity stories so let's just jump straight into it. For our first story we are going to be talking about Ariana Grande admitting to plastic surgery. You heard me right, this two time Grammy winner who is also known for her multiple talents when it comes to acting, singing and now even being a brand owner for her cosmetic line REM Beauty. She has recently spoken up about her fillers that she has received in the past. In the September 12 video about Vogue secrets, Ariana was doing a makeup tutorial on how she does her 60s ka eye and pretty in pink makeup look. She actually gets emotional when discussing her past usage of cosmetic surgery, specifically Botox and lip filler. As she begins by talking about how her relationship with beauty and how it has changed, especially since she was in the eye of the public while she was so young. During that time, she was exposed to many voices when it came to how she looked and expressed how different Difficult it was. Especially when you're an impressionable child, words that people have to say about you often stick with you, and your whole perspective on yourself can change. She opened up about how she used to use makeup as a disguise and something to hide behind, and it doesn't ever seem to be enough as she constantly begins to do more and more. She even discusses how, although sometimes it can be a look, it is no longer her intention when it comes to makeup. Now she views makeup as a way to express herself or to accentuate what features she already has naturally. She further describes how all of our relationships with beauty are personal and different, but we all have the same goal to feel our best and to be loved. While applying her lip products on screen, she opens up about how she's had a ton of lip filler over the years and Botox, but did say she stopped using filler back in 2018. She said she wanted to stop using filler because she felt like she was hiding behind them. While Ariana is saying all of this, she begins to tear up on camera as she shares her insecurities and is very vulnerable with her emotions. She further talks about how beauty for a long time was a way to hide but now she's beginning to view beauty through a different way. Even though she stopped getting these procedures in 2018, she clarifies by saying she doesn't know if she will use them again in the future, but you never know. As of right now, she's actually beginning to view her so-called well-earned smile and cry lines and discusses how it can be viewed as such a beautiful thing as it get deeper and deeper over time, which showcases and represents all of her smiles as she begins to show how aging is a beautiful thing. She also discusses how she maybe in the future get a facelift but she wants people to be able to discuss these topics, especially when the Vogue video is all about beauty secrets. Not only was she transparent about her fillers, but she was also discussing her fine lines and wrinkles and other changes in her skin as she continues to age, which many people in the comments have said how they gained much more respect for her because she is speaking up about these topics that many celebrities never discuss. Especially in this industry, aging is honestly something many people are afraid to show and it is great to hear how Ariana is using her platform to share the normal signs of aging and even stars like herself don't fit into the Hollywood beauty standards naturally. As Ariana admitted to have stopped using any filler in the most recent years, it is clear she is embracing her natural self and learning to love her face as she continues to age and instead is viewing makeup through a different perspective. Most of the public's response to this video is honestly very positive as many are preaching the star for being so open and transparent about her past procedures and her feelings towards them. It is not very often for celebrities to discuss what they have had done which many say can be damaging, especially to the young and impressionable audience they have looking up to them. Beauty standards can be extremely toxic, and it is refreshing to see someone like Ariana be so open and vulnerable with her audience. Many celebrities, such as the Kardashians, have been bashed for not even being able to meet the body standards that they are the ones setting and claiming to be natural and real. What are your thoughts on Ariana opening up about her new perspective on beauty? I think it is such a refreshing and positive outlook Ariana has when discussing the changes in her skin, as it is only natural to show signs of aging while we of course age. We would love to hear from you. Moving on, we are going to be discussing Selena Gomez shading Chris Brown. If you didn't know, the VMAs took place on Tuesday night and Taylor Swift won nine awards. Olivia Rodrigo had a planned stage malfunction and now we are going to be talking about what happened between Selena and Chris Brown. Selena has found herself in a ton of memes as fans seem to love her facial expressions throughout the entire night. One specific moment that is gaining major attention has to do with the nominees for Best R&B as many noted on the expression Selena was showing on her face when they were announced. Her face visibly turned sour when Chloe Bailey's collab titled How Does It Feel featuring Chris 
Brown was announced. She was quick to smile and return clapping for all the other nominees. And do people have stuff to say? Well, Chris Brown is a pretty controversial figure, especially because of his famously known past with Rihanna as well as other legal troubles he has found himself in. In fact, we can't go into detail with what he has done, however, many have chosen not to support Chris Brown as his actions are unforgivable to many. Well, iHeartRadio AU posted the exact moment Selena was captured for her facial expressions. Selena actually responded to this post by joining the comment section writing and later even posted on her Instagram story stating, I will never be a meme again. I'd rather sit still than be dragged for being myself. Much love. After the award show was aired, Brown also took it to Instagram stories as he wrote, let me mind my business. Let's not dismiss the award Selena won on Tuesday night alongside Rima as they took home best Afrobeat for the song she was featured in titled Calm Down. This hit song has actually just hit over 1 billion streams on Spotify which is insane so congrats to these two. As for what others think about the situation, the internet seems to be siding with Selena on this one as many have come to her defense on the Instagram post Selena responded to. With users blaming the industry for continuing to give a man like Chris Brown the space and platform he has especially because of his mistreatment towards women. Many comments are also saying it isn't really a big deal since everyone at home was making the same faces as Selena. Others are agreeing with Selena's comment by saying people are making the situation a whole big deal when in reality she was just making facial expressions and the media is looking a bit too much into it. I mean sometimes we don't even realize how our face is coming across. Some fans are also calling Selena a girl's girl for siding with Rihanna when it comes to the situation between the two. This situation however was not the only time Selena was made into a meme for her facial expressions that night. When Olivia Rodrigo was on stage, she had a planned stage malfunction which caused her to be escorted off the stage while the lights got dark. During this moment, Selena was seen being visibly worried for the young artist as she was unaware this was all intentional. Olivia was quick to hop back onto stage to perform and people joked about Selena being so worried for Rodrigo's safety that she has become traumatized, with one fan even joking about this being Selena's last VMA's attendance. Especially with today's technology, things begin to spread all over the world within the matter of seconds and with eyes on you at all times it can definitely be challenging. And we are talking about the VMAs which is one of the most anticipated award shows so it is only within the matter of time before people have opinions and thoughts. What did you think about the 2023 VMAs and the whole situation surrounding Selena and Chris? Moving forward we are going to be discussing Drew Barrymore being fired. Drew is once again in the media but this time regarding her being removed as a host for the National Book Award. Just for some quick background on this ongoing situation, we are going to be covering everything that has conspired into this. While Barrymore has been all over the media recently due to her decision to continue her talk show, even though there has been an ongoing WGA and SAG after a strike, although she doesn't directly break any violations since her show is a talk show, they will have to go on without any writers. Drew has remained standing her ground as she states, we are in compliance with not discussing or promoting film and television that is struck of any kind. She even further continued addressing this on Instagram and said, We launched live in a global pandemic. Our show was built for sensitive times and has only functioned through what the real world is going through in real time. I want to be there to provide what writers do so well, which is a way to bring us together or help us make sense of the human experience. I hope for a resolve for everyone as soon as possible. The public seems to be split on the situation as some writers have disagreed with Drew's decision. One TV personality star, Felicia Day, best known for her role in Super Natural publicly spoke up against Drew's decision. Others have been understanding and are supporting Drew's continuation of her talk show amid the ongoing strikes. Well, fast forward to this week, specifically the night right before the annual list of National Book Awards began to come out, the National Book Foundation actually announced their decision to drop Barrymore as she was set to be the host for the gala. The foundation released a statement that read, The National Book Awards is an evening dedicated to celebrating the power of literature and the incomparable contributions of writers to our culture. In light of the announcement that Drew Barrymore's show will resume production, the National Book Foundation has rescinded Mrs. Barrymore's invitation to host the 74th National Book Awards ceremony. Our commitment is to ensure that the focus on the awards remain on celebrating writers and books, and we are grateful to Miss Barrymore and her team for understanding in this situation. This decision seemed to be made to further draw attention away from Barrymore and her talk show while focusing the main purpose of the book award ceremony, and that is to celebrate the authors. Barrymore has always stood with her decision to continue her talk show even though she has faced a ton of backlash. So yes, this means Drew 
Brewer will no longer be the host for this year's National Book Foundation, but the third season of her talk show is set to premiere on September 18th, which is right around the corner, so it will be interesting to see the public's opinion once her show is back on air. There has also been a ton of mixed reactions when it comes to the decision, with the obvious endless numbers of memes made dedicated to all of this. In all seriousness, some are still upset and disappointed in Drew and are siding with the foundation for dropping her as it allows the focus to be on the writers instead. Others are on Drew's side for continuing the show and disagreeing with the book foundation's decision on dropping her as a host. Barrymore has yet to comment on this whole situation, but I would love to hear what you guys think about the National Book Awards dropping Drew as her host and if you think they made the right decision. At the end of the day, opinions are always going to be mixed when it comes to anything in the public eye. It is interesting to hear what the actual writers and actors on strike have to say about this entire situation. Thank you for watching and let us know what your opinions are. I'm your host Melanie and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.